Hey, welcome back to the channel, guys. I'm Jerry, and uh, I'm going to get started here out at the sawmill today. It's uh, Sunday morning. It's beautiful out. We had a big windstorm that blew through West Michigan uh, yesterday, November 11th, and today, November 11th. I just realized November 11th in 1983 was the first date my wife and I went on in November 11th, 1983. Happy dang. I wonder if she if she watches this video, that will make her happy. She that I remembered uh, thirty oh shoot, I guess that's almost forty years ago. <laughs> I was a senior in high school, and she was a junior, so she's been my high school sweetheart. So we've had a we've had a good life together. Two kids and a, our first grandchild here a couple of weeks ago, six weeks ago. So maybe seven week old baby. Anyhow, I'm gonna move this. I had you saw me cut this. This is for a customer. It's been sitting on a saw horse. I haven't been out in the mill for exactly one week now. Um, I need to get this stacked up. I got a hold of them. It might have been two weeks ago I cut this, and I haven't cut since. Literally cut since then. And he's out of the country right now. So I'm gonna get this stacked up and stickered. It might be springtime time he gets back and gets this wood so I'm just gonna get it out of the way now so along with this video I I'm not gonna show a lot of sawing today in fact I might not show any sawing uh, I'm gonna do some cherry as well today possibly my boys coming over he's got some things he's gonna help me with uh, we got to get ready for winter we've had some bouts of snow but we have not had a good you know foot of snow which I want to see uh, we had a couple of inches and it all went yesterday. Got into the 50s yesterday morning. Crazy wind, 60 mile an hour winds, lots of trees down. I have to go out to my other property and see uh, what I've got out there down for trees. I'm sure we lost a few trees. Uh, we're, we're predominantly oaks around here. Oaks, popples, maples, uh, and some pines, some white pine. Uh, but yeah, we'll see what it looks like out there. But I'm gonna get this stacked up. And what up? Oh, of what I was going to show in this video, though, I'm going to. The name of my channel is Jerry Bigelow Woodcraft. Bigelow Woodcraft, just the name of the company. The word Bigelow, the reason I chose that is that's the name of the stream that flows through our property, the Bigelow Creek. Uh, beautiful creek, 30, 40 foot wide, side deep to waist deep. Um, salmon, steelhead, all year through it. We've owned some property, 55 acres, just around the corner here where the creek goes through. And. Uh, it's we've had it since well 30 years 93 i think because we 93 or 94 we purchased that land the first 40 acres over there got a great deal on it with the river going through it just absolutely stunning so that's why i named uh my channel bigelow woodcraft and uh woodcrafting is what i've done i've been i've done it all my life so i'm going to show you some projects i've done over the years uh last few years uh and a lot of things some things i've done with the sawmill some of the lumber what i've used it for um but yeah and i'll show those pictures in here but i'm gonna get this stacked up so stick around so far for the most part everything i've sawn up is for myself i do some customer work as you've seen uh but i don't have i don't have a supply of lumber right now i'd like to over the course of winter i'd like to get my inventory up but Inter winter, you know, is a tough. I'm gonna break my neck out here. The winter is a tough time to mill. It's just it's hard out here. And I think what I'm gonna do in January, I might not do many milling videos. I'm gonna do some things to my mill. I want to build an auto feed. I don't know. Can you see me? So in the winter time, I want to bring my mill in. I want to build an auto feed, which I don't think would be that hard. I have some ideas in my head. I actually purchased already uh, a wheelchair motor. I bought two wheelchair motors. They're 12 volt, the 24 volt DC wheelchair motors. And they're very strong and very powerful. And, uh, with a pulse width modulator control unit, you'd be able to uh, control the speeds of that wheelchair motor real easily. So I got a couple 
ideas with some sprockets and some chain you know like bicycle chain motorcycle chain and uh i think it'd be a really cool project so i'm gonna i think i'm gonna do that over the winter time i still need i did get my bearings for my log stops i don't know if they're gonna work they're a little smaller than i thought they were gonna be i should have just gone to napa and just bought them in town here but i didn't i happen to be cruising amazon that darn amazon it's too convenient sometimes and it's not exactly what i need but i'll try them if i don't like them, i'll just change the bearings all right let's get this leveled up here 